All right, creatives, time for a purely practical NaNoWriMo tip. A tip, in fact, that is practical. She's 11, by the way. A purely practical NaNoWriMo tip <laughs> that you can use in everyday creative situations. Often the reason we freeze is we don't know what the next part is. We know part A, we know part Z, we don't know anything that's in between. What I'm going to tell you right now is to go ahead and write part Z. It might have to get changed later. You are not carving it in stone. What you are doing is creating inertia. Creativity is not a static event. It is not a one and done. It is not press the button, out comes the thing like in Star Trek. Creativity is movement. It is motion. It is the act of of creation. It is doing. So as long as you are doing something, you have inertia. And as long as you keep doing something, eventually you will figure out what those missing parts are. The worst thing you can do is stop creating because you don't know what comes next. Don't do that. Make something. It may be wrong. That's okay. Allow it to be wrong. Because the thing is, you can always fix a wrong page. You can fix or redo a wrong picture. But if there's nothing to fix, you're stuck. If you're not sure what comes next at all, then do nonsense. I'm serious. Do anachronistic, ridiculous, absolute baloney. Do something that makes no sense. That's never going to make it in your finished work. Because creation is inertia. As long as you keep going, you are inspiring yourself. Your imagination is working. The parts of your brain that actually do creativity are functioning. You are forming new neural pathways. Do not stop. If you don't know what to do, make it up, make it nonsense, use writing prompts, just let it be wrong. It can be wrong. It doesn't have to show up in your final product. It's okay for it to be wrong. Just do something. Sit down with me now and let's write something new.